वेलकम टू रमज़ान बयालोजी लेक्चर्स प्लीज सब्सक्राइब एंड आल्सो प्रेस द बिल आइकन टू रिसीव अपडेट्स ऑफ माय लेक्चर बिस्मिल्लाम अल्लाम वेलकम बैक टू रमज़ान बयालोजी इन दिस लेक्चर यू टॉक अबाउट इन अदर स्टेज ऑफ प्रोटोसिंथिस दैट इज द डायरेक्ट रिएक्शन इन प्रीवियस लेक्चर वी टॉक अबाउट द लाइट रिएक्शन इन विच वी स्टडी दैट इन द प्रीसिंस ऑफ सन लाइट इन द ग्रेनम ऑफ द क्लोरोप्लास प्लान प्रपेयर ए टी पी एन एन डी पी एच एन आल सो प्लान स्प्लिट इट्स एच टू एन गिव आस ओ टू एस बाई प्रोडक्ट विच आर दिन इन हेल बाई आल लिविंग आल लिविंग ऑर्गेनिजम लाइक एनिमल्स नाव इन दिस टॉक अबाउट द डायरेक्ट रिएक्शन डायरेक्ट रिएक्शन इज अ लिटल डिपिकल टर्म दिट पीपल थिंक इट इज ए रिएक्शन विच अकर इन द एब्सेंस कम्प्लीट एब्सेंस मीनिंग दैट दिस रिएक्शन अकर ड्यूरिंग द नाइट टर्म बट इट इज नॉट दिस रिएक्शन आल्सो अकर जस्ट आफ्टर द लाइट रिएक्शन बट इन दिस रिएक्शन द लाइट इज नॉट इन्वॉल्व इन द प्रोसेसिंग इन ऑल द रिएक्शंस ऑफ द Uh, direct reaction so therefore light is not involved in this process and the bit terminology can be the kelvin cycle and the kelvin cycle is given uh, by uh, by the virtue of the scientist the scientist name uh, the kel uh, melin kelvin who and discovered this ke direct reaction in the university of california with his colleagues so the, therefore the direct reaction is also known as the kelvin cycle and it is also known as the light independent reaction because in this reaction the this reaction does not depend on the presence of light with the light is present or not it does not matter and the light is not involved in all also reactions now inside the chloroplast this two reaction take place firstly the product of the light reaction are the atp and nadph which are the product of light reaction this product then moves uh, releases to the stroma and then these two product atp as the energy currency while nadph is a heavy having a reducing power these enter into the kelvin cycle and then in the kelvin cycle these are oxidized meaning that its energy are released and used in this kelvin cycle and their release is a nadp which uh, with now it is it does not have in much of energy and adp plus a uh, phosphate and then these are released again into the thylakoid and then in the thylakoid and the light reaction these are again convert into atp and nadph now we will start the uh, main direct reaction so direct reaction is a cyclic pump which occur in a cyclic pathway so their part is also called as a cyclic photosynthesis okay now input of this process is the co2 which are given from the atmosphere plant uh, inhale oxy uh, co2 through the stomata in the leaves and then this uh, co2 moves uh, through the uh, plant cells mesophyll cell and then enter the stroma of the chloroplast in so these are the input in there is a molecule which is called rubp rubellose bipartite which having five carbon these having i have shown the carbon with the black color these are the carbon these are the carbon which is present from the protein in the stroma there is called rubellose bipartite and is it is at a have attached partite from both ends and so first of all co2 is enter so i will write here is a co2 and mainly the carbon of the uh, the carbon of the co2 is used in this process so i will write here as a carbon carbon is added with the one molecule of rubp which have five carbon so one carbon is added with the five carbon and it gives us as a six carbon is a six carbon okay six carbon and this reaction carried out through an enzyme rubisco this is enzyme which react one carbon with five carbon and give us six carbon it is called rubisco and it is believed this is the enzyme is a protein which are about uh, in abundant concentrated amount uh, present in all living organism present on present on this plant okay 
And now I have run here there's the three molecules here and three molecules here. What does it mean? It means that part of the synthesis of one phosphoglycerol aldehyde, which is the half glucose, this cycle will run three times. Three times. So each time, euro time, one carbon will fix with one molecule. One molecule of carbon dioxide will fix with one molecule of RUBP. So therefore, this cycle will run three times. In each time, one molecule of uh, CO2 will fix with the one molecule of RUBP. So therefore, I have written is a three molecule. And then these, it will give us three molecules of six carbon. Okay. Now, this cis carbon is not a stable, is not stable, so therefore it will step, uh, it, will, it will split, suddenly split into two, three carbon molecule which is called phosphoglycerate and it will give us six molecule. So how it will give us six molecule? So, first of all, if you take one molecule of six carbon, one molecule of six carbon, so the one molecule of six carbon will split into two, three carbon. Okay, one car, one three carbon and another three carbon. And another six carbon will split into one three carbon and another three carbon. And another six carbon will split into one three carbon and another three carbon. So it will give us six molecule of phosphoglycerate and of course there are three molecules so three molecules will split uh, split into six molecule of phosphoglycerate and phosphoglycerate is a type of acid having carboxyl group and of course carboxyl group is a COOH is yes, right here is a C double bonded with O and having single bond with this O and single bond with the H this is the carboxyl group okay now the phosphoglycerate having three carbon and one phosphate, but it is not only one molecule. I have shown there one molecule, but these are actually six molecule permit just like this. And if you talk about the phases of the uh, whole direction, so mainly direction is consists of three phases. One is the carbon fixation, reduction, and regeneration. So carbon fixation is the phase which now completed. It is the phase in which the carbon becomes the part of organic mo molecule because carbon is in inorganic when it becomes a part of the organic compound that is called carbon fixation. And now carbon fixation uh, uh, is given us the phosphoglycerate it having three carbon now this phosphoglycerate having one phosphate you can see here one phosphate is attached with three carbon now the another end is uh, the another hand do not have phosphate so this phosphoglycerate will be converted into biphosphoglycerate meaning that at another uh, in the another end another phosphate will attach with these three carbon and this erection will carry out by the using of ATP there will be six ATP will be required for this reaction because it is six molecules converting into six molecule of bipospocalis rate so for each molecule one ATP is required so six ATP will be converted into six ATP and the phosphate of this ATP will comes and uh, attach with the remaining three carbon so phosphate will comes and attach with this end so therefore in the product it will give us is a biphosphoglycerate and it is called one three biphosphoglycerate because at the one carbon there is a phosphate and at the third uh, carbon there is another phosphate so the reaction is a uh, very simple now the phase of carbon fixation is completed now there is another phase is called reduction and reduction is a reaction in which oxygen is removed and electron and hydrogen are absorbed meaning the hydrogen and electron are gained and oxygen is removed. So now here this bipospoglycerate will be converted into pospoglycerol aldehyde. It means that the bipospoglycerate contain carboxyl group 
carboxyl group will be converted into aldehyde group and aldehyde group having coh c double bonded with the o c double bonded with o and single bonded with the hydrogen h so in this pro this uh, phase reduction you can see here that there was double o and now here the one o is released and it is removed so therefore the reduction takes place here the oxygen is uh, released and now the biphosphoglycerate will be converted into phosphoglyceraldehyde and in this process 6 NADPH is used and it is converted into 6 NADP because there are 6 molecules so 6 NADPH will be used and the hydrogen of this 6 NADPH comes and attached with the Phosphoglycerol aldehyde. So the main reduction takes place that the oxygen is released and the hydrogen is gained. So what occurs? The reduction takes place. And now here six molecules of phosphoglycerol aldehyde are prepared and these having three carbon in one phosphate. Now the uh, now this phosphoglycerate will move here. Out of the six, out of the six, okay, out of the six, one phosphoglyceraldehyde will be stored, okay. It will be stored and it will not go in uh, further running the Kelvin cycle. And this one phosphoglyceraldehyde, we call it is half glucose. It means that firstly we gain half glucose, half because glucose is a six carbon uh, compound c6 h12 o6 but now here we gain only three carbon compound so when this reaction when this calvin cycle runs again by again so again the uh, three carbon uh aldehyde will be gain and that will mix with this three and give us six carbon so six carbon now it will give us complete glucose so out of six, one phosphoglycerol dehyde will be stored in the palm of half glucose. And the uh, remaining five molecule of the phosphoglycerol aldehyde will move to uh, again run this Kelvin cycle. And in the next phase, this, there will be a regeneration phase. It means that the RUBP will again assembly itself, meaning that RUBP will again run this whole Kelvin cycle. Okay, so how this RUBP is uh, again, we before we mentioned that RUBP is present already in the stroma of the chloroplast. So, how it is permit? So, for this process, uh, we will take here that this RUBP is mainly gained from the from internal mixing of the pipe molecule of phosphoglyceraldehyde. So I will draw here there the uh, pipe molecules of the phosphoglyceraldehyde. So here are the this is the one molecule. This is the one molecule. Okay, another and then another and then okay. So, how many molecules are there? Five phosphoglycerol aldehyde molecules are there. Now, these molecules will internally react with each other in order to make RUBP, which is the uh, pipe carbon compound having uh, phosphate at both ends. And we should to gain what? Three molecules of this RUBP. So, how it will react? This three, this three, this one phosphoglyceraldehyde uh, will react with this one, so it will give us is a six compound, six compound carbon containing. Okay, so the six carbon com uh, containing is not a RUBP, so it will be reduced by what? Again, this molecule will uh, react with this, so it will make is a nine carbon containing compound now the carbon nine carbon containing compound will split so how many uh, carbon will be there one 
the bond between the 5 carbon and the 4 carbon will be broken down. So it will give us 5 carbon containing and car uh, 5 carbon containing as the RUBP which is reduced. Okay. So now here one RUBP is gained, but we need three RUBP. So again there are th four carbon are remain. So this molecule can uh, require this. So it will give us is a seven carbon containing. So now the another will also react. Okay, another will also react, and it will give us. Now count this one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight is a nine. Okay, ten. So it will give us ten carbon containing compound. Now the bond between the five carbon and the five carbon will be broken down. So it will give us what five carbon and this. So the five carbon is also a RUBP and this uh, five carbon is also a RUBP and that is neat. That is very very needed. So okay. So now here how many RUBP are released is a three molecule of RUBP are released. And then the, these three molecule of RUBP, one of the molecule, meaning this one molecule, will again react with one molecule of CO2 and it will again generate this cycle meaning again will run the cycle and will again give us one phosphoglyceraldehyde and it will react with this and will give us glucose that is the full glucose that we uh, generally then after the synthesis we eat so okay this was about the direct reaction or the kelvin cycle or the light independent cycle so i hope this lecture will be helpful to you and if you have any doubt any question in this so you can mention in the comment and please subscribe and share my lecture for the next upcoming lectures